Taking a good look at the whiteboard, you can see our question which says solve 5 plus 6 times 3. And we have a solution from A and as well as solution from B. Here, A decided to add first before multiplying and that resulted to the answer 33. And here, B decided to multiply first before adding and that resulted to the answer to be 23. Wow, it's quite strange, isn't it? Why are they arriving at different answers for a particular question? Does this mean that math is a confused subject? Oh, so in order to answer this question, that will lead us to our topic for today, known as board mass. Board mass is an acronym that stands for brackets of division, multiplication, addition, and subtraction. It is a set of mathematical rules. It helps us to know which operation to perform first in a given mathematical problem. Let's take, for instance, we have 22 plus 3 multiplied by 5. Here, we have more than one operator in our equation. We have the addition and we have multiplication. So how do we solve this? To arrive at the correct answer, we have to apply board mass to our solving. How do we apply board mass? A good question. We have to look out. Do we have brackets in this given question? If we do, that means we have to solve bracket first before the next. So, do we have brackets? The answer is no. We check for off, no. Division, no. Multiplication, yes. Hence, we have to tackle that. So, we we'll bring down 22 plus 3 times 5 is going to give us 15. Then, we are having left, we are having just one operator here. Hence, we simplify. 22 plus 15 is going to give us nothing but 37, hence our answer. You see, this enables us to arrive at what? The same answer to whenever a particular problem is given. So, we take a look at another example. Let's assume we have 4 raised to power 2, then multiply by 3 adding it to 2 so here do we have brackets in this question? no of yes this is called 4 raised to the power of 2 so we have to tackle it first hence 4 raised to the power of 2 is 16 that is 4 times 4 so, bring down the remaining times 3 plus 2. Then we go further. The next one after of is division. Do we have division in our question? No. Multiplication? Yes, we do. So, we stop here. We have to tackle the multiplication aspect. Hence, we have, we'll be having 16 times 3, which is 48. Then bring down the remaining plus 2. And we don't have more than one operator anymore. Hence, we simplify. 48 plus 2 will be giving us what? 50. That is our answer. For your assignment, please solve.